A new firmware has just been released for the Wahoo Kicker 18 and the Kicker Core Direct Drive Smart Trainers, adding two new features. Firstly, one that brings these trainers more into line with everything else on the market. And secondly, an update to the Bluetooth stack, which we haven't seen before in any other trainer. First up, the Kicker 18 and Kicker Core now report cadence over AMP Plus FEC and Bluetooth Smart. They do this by analyzing your pedal stroke and the resistance applied to the chain. And we'll look at the peaks and troughs and give you a number that represents the cadence that you're doing. Now I put this to the test over on Titan's Grove, which is a brilliant testing ground for this. It did really, really well with the resistance going up and down on the hills and spitting up to over 120 RPM, it passed with flying colors. Quickly jumping to DC Ramaker's analysis tool where we can compare multiple fit files from multiple devices. Now what I'm comparing here is the Asioma cadence versus the Kicker Core calculated cadence and all looks pretty good. Here through Titans Grove, it all pretty much matches. 90 RPM versus 90 RPM. You can see the peaks and troughs through there all the way up to 140 RPM, which has looked close enough for what we need in those ranges. Uh, through here, I stopped pedaling. It recorded no cadence, happy days. And then kicking off again, for another few kilometers there on that route and we have 85 versus 85 rpm so job done cadence is solved over fec and bluetooth smart a side note for this is that the cadence data isn't sent over the amp plus power profile so it's only over amp plus fec and bluetooth smart what that means is if you're pairing to a head unit or a watch or something like that for your kicker data you're not going to get cadence with that unless you're pairing to the amp plus fec slash controllable trainer I've confirmed this using the NPE WASP and you can see here that the cadence data is only within the FEC, not within the legacy Ant Plus slash power profile. Okay, who will benefit the most from this cadence update? Well, first of all, those without cadence sensors now get accurate cadence from their Kicker 18 and Kicker Core. Secondly, Apple TV users. This is a problem solver for those guys. With the Apple TV being limited to three device connections with Bluetooth, one taken up by the remote, you've only got two left. And if you've seen previous videos of mine, we've had to do some workarounds about getting cadence, heart rate, uh, power, and controllable trainer all linked into one using connections and bridges and things. It's just a bit of a pain. This solves the problem. Now with the kicker transmitting power, cadence, and controllable trainer, that leaves one connection open for your ticker heart rate monitor. Done, problem solved. It's now a super clean connectivity straight through the Apple TV for everything you need. And finally, Wahoo no longer need to include a cadence sensor with a top of the line kicker, or you don't have to go and source your own with a kicker core, which didn't come with a cadence sensor. So nice one there, Wahoo, good update. Onto the second noteworthy update with this firmware released today for the Kicker 18 and Kicker Core. These two trainers now support multiple Bluetooth connections to the one device. Now, you might be asking, why would you need multiple Bluetooth connections? Doesn't one work just fine? It does until it doesn't. You may have encountered a situation where you loaded up Zwift or Ruby, Trainer Road, Sufferfest, something, and tried to connect to your trainer over Bluetooth, and you just can't see it on the list. You're scrolling, you're scrolling. The technical solution there is to turn it off, turn it back on again, and it appears on the list. Now what's probably happened there is that something's grabbed a hold of that Bluetooth connection, taken it out of advertisement mode, and ghosts the device, so you just can't see it with anything else. Something has grabbed hold of it and just won't let go of control. Turning it off, turning it back on again, resets that, it pops up on your list. Having multiple Bluetooth connections at once allows for that to happen, but it doesn't get in the way of you seeing the device and connecting to it. So it's a good one for the home environment, just to make connectivity just jumping on your bike a little easier and less troublesome. In a multi-user environment or a public environment, maybe not that handy, but for the home environment, it makes things a little bit more seamless. At this point in time, the Cadence and Bluetooth updates are only available for the Kicker 18 and Kicker Core. Now that's where the dev team have focused their efforts on with the hardware included in those trainers. They haven't ruled out the older trainers just yet, but for now, if you own either of those two, open up the Wahoo app, hit update, and enjoy the ride. Okay, thanks for watching.